Hi, my name is Denise Fallon, and I'm a technical architect on Slack's professional services team. Slack offers a library of robust accelerator apps, all designed to solve real-world problems and boost efficiency in Slack. I'll be demoing RelayBot, but before I begin, I'd like to highlight RelayBot's value drivers, what it solves, and how it differs from SuccessBot. People often need to communicate the same message to multiple recipients at once. Copying and pasting a message into multiple channels and DMs takes time and manual effort. And when the list of recipients is very long, this tedious task becomes unmanageable. RelayBot removes the repetition, allowing you to craft the message once, select the recipients, and then move on. Frequently used groups of recipients can be saved as distribution lists, saving even more time on recurring communication. With RelayBot, Messages look normal to the recipients. No one will be able to tell that a bot sent them. Slack treats them normally as well, notifying you of threaded replies and reactions just as you'd expect. We built RelayBot because our team needed an easier, more flexible way to bulk message our customers while retaining the personal experience. In today's environment of doing more with less, RelayBot allows us to move quickly and reach out further than we could have using manual techniques. Both SuccessBot and RelayBot simplify bulk communication, allowing a single message to be shared to many channels. Although they sound very similar, there are two key differences in purpose and execution. The first is how recipients are defined. SuccessBot uses a subscribe to mailing list style model, where the bot must first be installed to channels that should receive the message, in effect subscribing those channels to all future SuccessBot posts. And whenever you send a message with a success bot, all subscribed channels will receive a copy of the message. RelayBot does not need to be installed to channels and will send your messages to any people and channels that you choose during the relay process. Additionally, SuccessBot will message all subscribed channels even if the author isn't a member of that channel, while RelayBot is a more personal touch, sending messages as you to any people or channels that you are connected to. The second difference is how the messages look to the reader. SuccessBot sends messages anonymously, but messages sent with RelayBot look as if they were sent by you personally, and you receive threaded replies and reaction notifications just as you would with any other Slack message. Hi, I'm Hunter Peterson, another technical architect here at Slack, and I'm here to take you through RelayBot. Uh, so here we can see our app home screen. So this contains the directory for all the available features we have in RelayBot. Um, so one of the first things we would typically do is create a distribution list. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And so here we can see our existing distribution list. I'm going to add a new one. And we're going to give it a name. And add some recipients to it. You can also give a description. Okay, and now that I've saved that list, it is accessible for selection of future relays. So now I'm going to go to my personal direct messages, and this is where we typically um, recommend our customers craft their messages and use this area for relaying. So once I'm satisfied that I have edited my message in its entirety and it's ready for broadcast, I'm going to choose to relay it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is select an dis select the distribution list. I'm going to use the one I just created. Um, additionally, I can also select individual channels or direct messages, public private channels, things like that. Um, Any one that I'm connected with and add those individually it does not have to be part of the distribution list directly. Um, if I wanted to choose to schedule a relay, I could also select a date and time, um, and that would send the relay at that specified date time instead of doing so immediately. Uh, but for this case, I'm going to choose to send this one um, on a finish here. So I'm going to preview this. And here we can see the distribution list that I've selected, as well as the additional channel, along with the preview of the text that is going to be relayed. Um, I could also, if I chose to do so, exclude one of the individual, individual accounts um, for the distribution list for this specific relay only. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and publish this relay. Okay, and now we can see the relay has been sent to those four recipients. 
And if we go look at any one of these channels, we can see that the relay has come through. On the relays tab, I can see that this relay has been sent. I can also choose to go and look at the original message, or if I select the delete message option, it will remove the message amongst all the recipients that it was sent to. So again, some of the additional features here, I mentioned scheduled relays. Um, I have a scheduled relay that has been previously scheduled sitting here as well. Um, so any scheduled relay that is not yet sent will be in the scheduled relay section and you can choose to modify the send dates or cancel it all together. Um, we can also archive our distribution list. So if we wanted to hide distribution lists for the time being and without permanently deleting them, that is an option as well. Um, we can look at analytics for relays that have been sent as well as their distribution lists that have been created or active users. Um, and lastly, we have this new feature called the proof channels. Uh, typically, you can only relay a message that you yourself authored. And by default, if you try to relay someone else's message, it will trigger a direct message of that copy to yourself. So then you can work on it in your own DMs and relay it from there where you have authored that message. Um, however, we do have this option where you can add select channels to the approved channels list. And if you choose to do so, you can anyone can relay anyone else's message within these channels as well. Thank you for your time today. If you'd like to learn more about this app, please reach out to your designated account partner.